Hello and welcome to part 5 of our tutorial series on bar design. In part 4 of our project titled Downtown Barn Grill, we added our front of bar, back bar, and center island refrigeration. In this video, we'll be finalizing our bar design and adding a few accessories for our project. Let's get started. As we can see in our front bar line, we have an open space on each side of our bottle box. Since workspace is always at a premium in bar areas, let's add a few work counters to finish our design. Work counters can be used for a number of things, such as a workspace for slicing fruit for garnishes, or as a countertop for storing bar glassware. Currently, we have a 40 and 3 quarter inch opening between our beer box and our dump sink on each side. However, we'll also need to allocate 11 inches of space for trash containers for disposal of empty beer containers and paper products. After deducting 11 inches for our trash receptacle, we'll have a net opening of 29 and 3 quarters inches. Let's review our options for this space. One option would be a standard drain board with a stainless steel embossed top and drain hole. Drain boards come in several widths. They include 18 inch, 24 inch, 30 inch, and 36 inch, and in 18 or 21 inch deep units. So based on our net opening of 29 and 3 quarters inches, we would select the 24 inch wide drain board for this location. Another option would be a glass rack. Glass racks are available in a variety of widths including 24, 30, 36 inch, and 48 inch wide, and in 21 or 24 inch deep units. Glass racks offer the same stainless steel emboss top and drain, but feature a glass rack storage in the base. So to maximize our space and add additional storage, we would select a 24 inch by 21 inch deep glass rack for our opening on both sides. After adding our 11 inch slimline trash receptacles, we'll have five and three quarter inches of space remaining on each side of our bottle box, which leaves adequate room for servicing the trash receptacles. Next, as we stated in part one, our customer has requested a countertop frozen drink machine. We've selected a dual three gallon frozen drink machine for our project. Since frozen drink machines require frequent refilling of product mixes, we've elected to locate our drink machine on the back bar countertop to avoid interrupting the flow or movement of bartenders in the front of bar area. This model should provide adequate volume for serving pina coladas and strawberry daiquiris for our customers patrons. To finish our project we've added a few options and accessories for our customers bar. Starting on the right side of our bar we've added an optional waitress station for our wait staff. Waitress stations are critical for large bars to allow busy waitresses a clear access point to the bar area for placing and picking up of drink orders. In addition, we've added a soda gun at each cocktail station. Soda guns are typically provided by beverage suppliers such as Coca-Cola and Pepsi, so be sure to inquire with your local vendors for soda gun products. And finally, we've installed beverage holders for each ice bin for juice container storage for our bartenders. This concludes our tutorial series on bar design. Be sure to check back periodically for more tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.